Hello everyone. Today we have with us Sudhan Shahati, Senior Principal Technology Architect with ISITS. He's an architect, inventor, and is responsible for Infosys Enterprise Cognitive Platform and has a couple of patents to his name. He's here with us today to throw some light on his recent published white paper, HD Trends and AI Algorithms. Hello Sudhanshu, welcome to the show. So today everyone is talking about artificial intelligence and its latest advances. And even in your paper, you talk about HD Trends and AI Algorithms. Can you please share us some information on the same? Yeah, thanks Anu for having me. Yeah. So at Infosys Center for Emerging Technology Solutions, I said, we continuously scan trends and as part of our scan, we have a framework which primarily classifies these into three areas, H1, H2, H3. Mm -hmm. H1 is which is, H1 trends are primarily mainstream with clients. So use cases such as recommendation or document classifications, uh, solved using traditional AI algorithms such as support vector machine or classification based algorithm are the H1. Mm -hmm. H2 are where we have a client mind share and clients have done pilots and have started investing. So something like facial recognition, speech based insights or speech biometric falls into that class. Mm -hmm. And H3 is where these trains have been researched and are already have started coming into the uh, into the uh, community. Mm -hmm. uh, there are not the enough implementations around that. There is not enough client mind share around that. So we primarily scan those and use those as part of our product and offerings. Okay. So in the white paper that you had written, there are, it talks about more than 10 plus algorithms in H3. So of all these, which one do you think is the most interesting and holds the greatest potential? So uh, the dearest to my heart is the transfer learning mm -hmm. because it saves huge amount of effort in terms of collecting data, training the model from scratch and computational power as well. Mm -hmm. So transfer learning in vision and transfer learning in text that is mm -hmm. making lot of a uh, lot of wave and uh, is very useful to solve very complex problem without necessarily going to client and asking for a lot of data to train. Mm -hmm. uh, then the next important one that comes to me is explainable AI uh, because clients are asking more and more transparency uh, into the results that are produced by AI system because that has an impact on onto the governance and overall uh, ecosystem and that's where explainable AI becomes important. Uh, so these two and then there are a lot of other things like capsule network, generative AI and other things that are uh, that are there and are interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, so okay. that's some great and interesting research that you do here. But how does it transform to an actual opportunity for Infosys? So uh, we have a platform called Infosys Enterprise Cognitive Platform mm -hmm. uh, where we work with clients and deploy uh, and implement use cases in H2 and H3 area. Mm -hmm. So use cases in computer vision and speech such as object detection or doing content moderation for a large social networking company or speech based insights for a retailer or a call center mm -hmm. is done using cognitive platform and there is always some amount of accuracy improvement and there is some amount of gaps in terms of what clients want versus what we are able to deliver through the existing AI techniques and frameworks. Uh, that gap, if we have to reduce, we have to leverage the uh, latest and hottest trends uh, that are there. So for example, bird based framework helps us solve a lot of text related issues in voice processing, mm -hmm. in voice extraction, mm -hmm. similarly in content moderation. So that helps us to really solve problem for clients at a very rapid pace. And that's where we are leveraging these H3 trends and combining these as part of our cognitive platform offering and uh, delivering it to clients. That was quite an informative session today about the HD trends in AI and the work that we do with our clients. Thank you so much for joining us today, Sudanshu. Thank you, Anu. We hope that this session was insightful and helpful for all of you. To know more about our work in the AI and emerging technology space, do write to us at isets at Thank you for joining us today. This is Anu signing off. Keep watching InfiTV.